Over the past months, New State Mobile has done some insane improvements for the anti-cheating system. And in today's video, we want to check out the latest news and I will answer you the question if we won't see any hacker in the future of New State Mobile. And with that said, thank you everybody for being here again, really appreciate it. If someone else is newer, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for free to my channel. Here we are back, tiers of sanctioned accounts. While that will be part of the later stage of the video, we want to start all the way on the top. This is my very first reaction, so I have not read it before. And I guess I will give you some nice input, since I have a lot of knowledge about cheats as well. And how they work, how developers try to protect from it. Uh, so let's get into it. Hello survivors, as we mentioned in our September death letter, we've come to share more detailed information about rules of conduct violations. The use of unauthorized programs, intentional team killing and other forms of cheating seriously harm the fun and balance of the game. Our development team continuously thinks about these issues and strives to ensure that all players can enjoy the game in a fair environment. Today we want to provide detailed information about the major updates and actions we have taken so far to ensure a safe and fair gaming environment for all players. Since they are mentioning here rules of conduct, that is much more than these few points we have seen it in the past. Dream sniping is also part of it, then slurs, toxic behavior, all these points can result in a ban. Results of sanctions and related data. First, we would like to inform you about the sanctions results imposed on rules of conduct violators from the launch of the game until October 2023, which many of our players have been curious about. And that is a very nice information, but I can already give you an information about it since October. Not only my personal feeling, I've seen several reports of it. Since October, we have seen again a slight increase, maybe a heavy increase of cheaters in the game. but. Overall, from my personal opinion, we don't have too many cheaters here, but what is happening? We run multiple times into the same cheater because of the lack of players of this game. And that is a serious point, because sometimes it takes too long until a cheater gets banned in my personal opinion, but we all can help with providing evidence that someone is cheating via support ticket or sending it me on Discord and I can forward it um, so that those hackers get banned faster. Top 5 Sanction Reasons 84.82% cheat So during the first two years of the game, almost two years, 84% that is insane of all the sanctions which happened have been due to the cheat usage. Advertisement 5.61% Team killing 4.4% Abusing exploiting bugs and the bridge bug for example 3% and we got 2% for abnormal refund that is happening and it results straight in a permanent ban if you try to refund a purchase of this game so before doing that maybe open a support ticket hey um, a payment has been done i have not received my stuff in game or whatever could be a real reason to um, refund um, and they are talking here already about abnormal refund One thing why this number of cheat is that high is personally I think because of that mass reporters where a lot of one day bans did happen also to non-cheating players that pushes that number a little bit higher than I guess in reality it is. So yes, most sanctions have been done for cheats. There are a lot of or have been a lot of cheaters banned. That is right. But also these include those one day bans after reporting someone, my personal opinion. When examining the main details of the sanctions, the use of cheats, brackets hack, represents the highest proportion accounting for 84 of all violations. This is followed by advertising, promotion, intentional team killing, abuse, bug exploitation, exploitation and abnormal refunds in that order. Additionally, sanctions have also been implemented to other or for other forms of misconduct such as abnormal team formation and inappropriate chatting. Yep teaming in solo and flaming and other things, toxic behavior in the chat. Among these, cheating has been a significant concern for many survivors, as evidenced by the feedback received through the surveys and community interactions, highlighting the need for swift and strong responses. Going forward, we will provide an overview of the major anti-cheat measures implemented in New State. 
blocking unauthorized program use through anti-cheat solutions. In new state, we are preventing the use of the latest unauthorized programs through continuous updates to our anti-cheat solutions. Since the game's launch, we have been implementing daily patches, which have been essentially and fundamentally blocking key hack functions and various abnormal play patterns. And you guys think, ooh, day-based updates? Yes, that is the case. Like the same as your uh, antivirus software on computer, as a new virus is detected, new virus signings are um, developed, and the anti-cheat, uh, anti Virus softwares are getting updated, not every day, but very, very often. And that should be similar to what they are doing here. New analyzers, finding out new hacks, detecting new hacks, and then implementing into the anti-cheat uh, anti solutions, most likely on the server side. So we are not seeing every day an in-game update. Responding to client vulnerability exploits. We are continually updating our system and strengthening security measures to prevent the use of hacks that exploit client vulnerabilities. And that is a major point. Why it sometimes takes pretty long to ban a cheater. Since this is the key point of a hack being detected or not. So developers are focusing on developing the game. They are not majorly focusing on closing those vulnerabilities. Yes, for sure, if a vulnerability is known, they will close it as soon as possible. But simply, you cannot find out all vulnerabilities. That's impossible for any type of software. So what are the devs doing? They keep on developing the game. They keep on improving for sure the anti-cheat system. But they have a lot of things to do. What is now the task of a cheat developer? A cheat developer just is searching for those vulnerabilities to hook his hack into the game, to inject it, uh, so that these hackers can have auto-aim, wall hack or whatever. So you can see the, the workload for a developer and the focus is different You or comparing it to a hacker. Hacker is only in this focus developing his hack and finding new vulnerabilities where you can inject the hack. And that is the reason why a developer of a game, for example, is running behind a hack developer, the same as an antivirus developer is running behind those guys creating new viruses. And that's how it is. If a new virus is out there, a lot of PCs can be infected until the antivirus softwares are fixed. And the same thing is happening here at the anti-cheating software. The developer is trying their best, closing those uh, vulnerabilities, Hackers come around with a new version of the hack after each update. You can see that in several hacking groups. Um, only takes a few hours and boom, there's a new hack. Okay, so that's a major reason why sometimes it takes longer to ban an account because the hack is not um, detected. It takes some time if there's a new hack until it gets detected. At Counter-Strike we have some major hacks which got detected now after five or six years five or six years until they were detected, implemented, because that were some kind of hidden hacks. Huh? So sometimes these things are obvious, they are using some li uh, libraries again from old hacks, so they can be detected very fast, but other things just take longer. To block hack functions related to gunplay and shooting, we have added various verification and defense logics to neutralize these functions, such as cheats that allow shooting through walls or other obstacles. Yep. That is pretty easy on this game, since we, uh, we have no wall penetration of the shots. At Counter-Strike, you have a wall penetration, so every player, even without the hack, can shoot through the walls. Here, we don't have that, so it is kinda, kinda easy to implement such a measurement. It will still take a lot of effort, but they have implemented something like that. Cheats that manipulate the hit position and rage. That will get harder, because hit position is the classical auto-aim. Uh, uh, the, the head is here and I shoot like here and the auto aim let the fly uh, let fly the bullet into the head. But it's nice that they have something like that. So I guess they will have uh, any type of a metric that they have a normal bullet behavior and then see um, in the algorithm that it is not the same and then they can manage to ban those accounts. Additionally, we have taken defense me measures against features that alter the movement of characters and vehicles such as abnormal speed manipulations, BTEC, and hacks that make 
vehicles beside the glider fly flying car yep these are another hacks which are there i will do also an update showcasing some some clips in the future flying cars too fast or though those user in bolts running through a rangle in two seconds uh, that also happened not two seconds but being very fast so that is nice that these major things are already banned what keeps behind or what is behind war leg not mentioned here and that is one of the hardest things to take a measurement because it's not too obvious if a car is flying if someone is running with abnormal speed if someone is only hitting headshots that is easier to detect than a wall hack if someone plays it clever strengthening response to abnormal gaming environments we have strengthened our response to acts of maliciously hiding rooted environments to evade detection we have enhanced our response to behaviors that involve using certain apps to establish rooted environments and circumvent the detection of unauthorized programs this is again the part like an antivirus software detecting cheats as an anti-cheating system so this is as i said already and explained before kind of similar and that is good because that prevents us from from the reports even if a hack is detected it might even happen that a cheater is getting banned faster than we have to play against him and that will cause why we will see it on the later stage those many accounts against bronze players so yes those accounts have been banned fast enough and we did not most likely run into them. The results of these actions can be seen in the reduced ratio of players suspected of using unauthorized programs within new state. And here we go with suspected cheaters among players rate. So this is a comparison of the total amount of players and those guys being suspicious and getting reported. And we are starting all the way on the release day and one day later, <laughs> many, many reports did happen or many many players have been suspected this is kind of crazy maybe i don't know why but this is kind of crazy and then uh, we had over the time a slight improve so here in this time no further big updates have been done here any type of a new cheat developed maybe a free to ha a free to use hack that um, usually causes these high speed uh, spikes um someone releasing a free hack and a lot of guys using it some others cost some money uh, they also will be not detected that easy most likely um, but never use a hack then it slightly did ditch down maybe those guys getting banned then we have a really heavy increase of cheaters doing all the players on april 2022 that has been around the time where we have seen the among us collaboration not sure if that is a reason maybe some some further hacks have been developed whatever then countermeasure for fall damage nullification hack i didn't even know that this was a thing that some guys could nullify the fall damage they have done here the countermeasurement so they will detect it pretty easy and boom it dropped down heavily and it keeps on going down here as well so that in that time i guess a lot of bans happened that would be also a nice, nice uh, infographic, Crafton, if they would showcase in parallel to that how many accounts have been banned. Because then we will see here measurement done, reported players getting, getting lower and banned accounts should happen here quite a lot. Then we have another point here in August 2022, countermeasure for punch damage hack. All right, so there were some guys, I guess, one-shotting you with a punch. Um, and maybe also speed hacking not not sure about it and after that it fall off again then here first birthday game gets more attraction hey some guys think oh, we can we can we can maybe hack it or we can use some cheats so we got a slight improve over the time and here we go countermeasures for speed hack so what does that mean like here when we have a high improve here of suspected accounts that could mean that this new feature of speed hacking got implemented into those cheating software around here. And we run into those using bolts pretty often. That happens. Then here the measurement is done. Okay. And this is most likely the case that they have talked about before, that they have implemented something to detect those using bolts. Um, and this will result in an autobahn. And boom, it keeps on crashing really hard down in february so that means here in this part just before the the lachner release 
that um, a lot of accounts have been banned. Then we have maintained the amount of reports in the ratio towards the players. So this is not taking care of we have a lot of players or less. This is comparing the rate in between, which is actually a good number in my opinion. From May, we can see an increase here. And from July, definitely. That is the point where we got struggle also on uh, the stream. During these seasons where we run into that guy without a name, later called Ben, later called Kakarot. That is this time here. Count the measurement for flying car and wall penetration shot. Yep. That also happened to that uh, time. We did not run into a flying car, but I saw some funny clips. Um, but wall penetration. Yep, that happened. Uh, just remember that guy in Bounty shooting through the wall with a pistol and then killing the teammates. Also getting sprayed completely behind the stone. There were some crazy cheaters at the end of Bounty and the following Battle Royale matches. They have done here another counter measure for flying car and wall penetration. As I said, these things are easier to detect, detect. So there you don't have to detect the cheat. You can detect the behavior in game. This is most likely easier because Crafton has all the server data. While a hack running on your device, there are some limitations that Crafton gets all those things. Like they have no spyware, which is which is completely reading your uh, phone. For sure, they will have some anti-cheat which will, will see the processes and interactions with, with the game. But that's why it is easier for them to detect something on their servers instead of your device. And for sure, after that, it gets slightly down. And what happened now after October? We could see a lot of hackers. We could not see any wall penetrators. That is good. Or these wall penetrators got banned mid-game. That is this automatic thing that happens. But what is happening since then? A heavy increase in those guys having the knowledge where you are at so either an ESP or wall hack or simple words radar hack so they have they are aware where enemies are at and then they keep on blatantly pushing you and not only that they most likely have an aimbot and hit a lot of good shots the negative thing which happens here while we have here with the wall penetration that were double headshots dead during the last streams, we have we have had a look at it, and a lot of times it happened that you're not dying against only um, headshots. One main thing where we played against Hacker that we died against the DMR, also penetrating your chest. So you're getting three, four, five hits in a really short amount of time, and you are dead. And that is harder to detect than just if someone is doing headshots only, because the shots look normal in beef. Like the, the shots look first-handed normal because it was not only a headshot the fast shooting without any recoil for sure there can be also measurements done and they will keep on developing counter measurements so that the cheaters will decrease to my initial or to your initial question will we not see a single hacker in the future i can tell you no and we will do a final conclusion later because as i said before hackers focus on developing new cheats while the developers trying to close those vulnerabilities and implementing counter measurements. That is what we can straight see here and that helps and that is highly appreciated. Ooh, huge graphic, not easy to understand. I hope that I could help you here uh, to, to understand this a little bit more. And we have played during all the time, so we have been impacted by most of these. As I said, nullification hack, I was not aware. Punch damage did not happen. Counter measurement for speed hack did happen, but not against me. I saw a lot of clips, etc. Through these measures, the number of suspected cheaters has decreased dramatically. However, based on recent data from August, we observed a significant increase in users sub suspected of using hacks due to the distribution and sale of new cheat functions such as penetrating walls to hit opponents and flying cars. After taking actions against these specific functions, we have again seen a decrease in the usage. Definitely. Yeah, if a hack is being detected, those guys are connected. Hey, hey, don't, don't use it. Some, some cheats have even newsletters um, to not use it because of something got uh, detected, but most won't just want to sell and will not inform you. Um, but at a point, every hack will be detected, so never hack in any game. Strengthening and updating the anti-cheat system. 
While we've taken steps to address cheating, we recognize that the issue persists with some players creating new accounts or finding unconventional ways around or solutions. This can understandably give the impression that our measures are not su sufficient, particularly to those who have encountered cheaters or been affected by them firsthand. Yeah, firsthand that means a new cheat is getting developed, it's it's brought out, guys are updating it, injecting, starting a game, and a boom, you face them. Then they take measurements some weeks after and will fix it, but in this, if you're playing in the first release days of these new cheats, that can happen more frequently. Understanding the need for an ongoing anti-cheat enhancement, we have laid out plans for further actions. And now they want to tell us them. That is nice. We will be implementing device bans to restrict users who hack from creating new accounts. And that's what's happening already, what they've written in, uh, written in the past. In the punishment section at the rules of conduct, device bans will happen. So you cannot simply create a new account or you create a new account and it will get straight banned or whatever. I don't know how they will implement it, but that will be the case. Tiers of sanctioned accounts. We got their 77.3% Bronxer accounts. Guys, you know why this number is good? If you compare it to the to the to the Tencent numbers, Tencent numbers really often have crazy amount of Conqueror and Master accounts. While in parallel, only 500 guys per server can be Conqueror. Huh? Why it is good that so many Bronx accounts are getting banned? You may think, oh, this is not good, I'm not facing Bronx accounts. You still face Bronx accounts, especially those who boost other accounts. And why it is especially good that Bronx accounts are getting banned? Bronx account means it is a fresh account. If you have been Conqueror once, you are ending up at Platinum at the reset, so you are much higher than Bronx. So you can see that every guy from Bronx, Silver and Gold are pretty fresh accounts and they got caught during the process of ranking up their account until gold. That is insane. We got here in total, yeah, this, these are 12% and 77, these are 89. So almost 90% of all those guys using cheats getting banned during that progress. And that is pretty often the case what we are seeing in game. We are getting killed by those fishy Bronx accounts in an enemy team where that guy, uh, the guy with, with a high, high rank, is not doing something. He is getting carried and boosted by a cheater. Yep, so those Bronx accounts will have also the most or the highest impact on you. What we have seen lately on Weekly League where you need certain rank points and uh, on the Ace League, yes, we run also in higher accounts here. The fun fact about this, which I already told you guys when they have implemented the Ace League. Whenever they ban an account which is hacking in the Ace League, that guy has at least 3,000 points. But that takes some time to get. So if one of those guys with higher rank is getting banned, he has to come all the way up with a new account. And that is pretty good because that takes some time and in the future we will definitely see less hackers on the leaks. That will automatically happening with those device bans. Huh? And for example, first-handed, diamond account getting banned. Guy creating new Bronx account, next time he gets still banned at diamond, the upper next time at gold or whatever. If, a count, if an account on a device is getting banned multiple times, those will be, they will uh, ban the device. So some at some point he will not be able to create a new account. On the higher ranks, for sure we can see still some bans and this is most likely the sad thing because those guys have played for a very long time to reach that rank, even multiple times conquered, that also happens. So that is what we can see. And those few players here getting banned after a very long time is a thing which got reported a lot by you, which got reported a lot by me and other A squad partners, is the heavier thing. They are using most likely non-detected cheats um, and not playing that suspicious. So they, they, they have not penetrated the walls or whatever. So it is hard to ban those accounts. And that is what we are seeing. Playing against some guys at the weekly leagues multiple times. We have seen several examples. These guys got banned afterwards. After last Ace League, I got like six six guys to, um, which I reported during the Ace League got a ban. Um, most for underrealized programs, so that's a permanent ban. Um, but that makes these numbers really, really important. But also, again, guys, it is hard from player perspective to understand why 
first handed uh, so many pronks guys this is not important it is important because that are the boosting accounts and if a pronks account is getting banned that happens really fast because otherwise he would already be silver or gold or platinum the higher ranks take longer but also these are for us for the satisfaction of us as a player much better because these here will have a straight impact on the leagues since you have get 2000 points so a little bit here at platinum for the weekly league and the 3000 points um for the ace league upon examining the data on penalized accounts a significant number fall within the prongs tier it's evident that individuals who have been banned for hacking persists in creating new accounts to use cheats in light of this we are taking measures beyond mere account restrictions we will be introducing bans at the hardware level to curb these infractions this action is intended to reinforce our stance against the pro proliferation and utilization of unauthorized programs. That is insane and that will help in the future, but it takes time because you cannot ban a suspicious player. I'm not talking about the real cheating player. A, sus a suspicious player on the first day with a permanent device ban. Um, because of the reporting system. If someone is playing really good, he's also getting reported um, and that would cost it. So that will take some time, but these numbers here are brilliant. 90% within gold or lower getting banned means they find out that they are hacking super fast and they can ban them super fast as well. Well, 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 enhanced monitoring. Despite ongoing efforts to monitor to unfair practices, we plan to further strengthen our oversight, particularly within rankings, leaderboards and league play. We have received numerous reports of increasing hacking in the Ace League and Weak League compared to gen uh, general matches, and we are actually aware of this issue. We reported it as a squad partners, I can tell you that. And you guys report this as well. Based on the information provided by our community, uh, you. We are preparing to conduct more through investigations and enhance our monitoring beyond its current scope. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation in this matter. Um, death cam will be also their case. Because if you get killed by a suspicious guy, hey, look at your death cam recorded, send it over, that is easier for you. Response to new cheats hacks. As our players are aware, blocking specific cheats does not solve the issue of new ones being developed. That's what I've explained to you. And circulated. In response, we are analyzing reported play patterns and logs, striving to update our solutions to detect new patterns of cheating and the programs used. Your reports have been individual invaluable in our efforts to counter new cheating methods. Yeah, that is the case. Because the developers, as I said, they are busy. But if we are helping them with reporting those guys, it makes it much easier to find out which kind of new hacks are there, which new softwares are there, and then limit them from playing the game. So thank you everybody for reporting those cheaters. It helps even if it takes sometimes a little bit longer. We urge you to continue reporting any unfair play through in-game reporting, our community channels and customer support. These reports enable us to take swift actions. Please refer to the reporting tips below for guidance on making effective reports. That's how to report during a game. Here on the right side you can see this red light, click it and then you can report one guy um, of that match. You can report a teammate or an enemy by selecting them through the report button. Exactly. How to report after the game ends? Well, this is not too easy since you have to search for the player name. What makes that hard? A lot of guys of the cheaters, and I will give that as a feedback as well, Craft, if you are listening have those symbols which you can't see. So if you played against a guy without a name, you can't search that profile afterwards and report it manually afterwards. That is pretty sad. So personally, I would love to see those symbols which cannot be shown here. Either show them that it is easier to, to search for a player or make it not possible to create names with those symbols which are not shown off. Also here, report that is working after the match, the guy you killed, uh, the guy which killed you, you can also report here. Easiest way which I can give you is, if you get killed in a suspicious way and your full team is dead, spectate the enemy. Spectate that suspicious player, record his gameplay, send it over on Discord or in a support ticket to, to Crafton and 
and afterwards, if you are aware, report him. Or already doing spectating. The nice thing when you're spectating an enemy team, you can report the cheater. And if there is more than one cheater, you can report both or even the full team. You can report a user by touching the report button after selecting a profile. Yeah. When making a report, it is crucial to attach relevant screenshots or videos. Actions against unfair play are taken after reviewing the entire context of the reported incident. If a report lacks sufficient evidence and context, it may be difficult to proceed with sanctions. Therefore, please ensure that your report includes comprehensive details before submission. That's what I meant. Spectate those guys, record it, and most of the devices can record it with an implemented uh, own software and send it over. Strengthening penalties for unfair play. Newstate is dedicated to ensure a fair gaming environment and is seriously concerned about the regular incidents of deliberate team killing and similar unfair behavior. To address this, we have implemented the Manor Score system. Through the system, the Manor Scores of players report for unsportsmanlike actions like team killing are automatically reduced. When a player's score drops below a specified level, they will face partly restrictions in accessing the game. Top 5 reporting cases. Griefing, what, 43% and 22% cheating only? How many griefers do we have there? I don't grief, let's not make this a second. PUBG Mobile with toxic community, no, we are better. Cheating, malicious AFK, K that can happen. Verbal abuse, don't flame your teammates, we all can have a bad match. Teaming, if you see guys teaming, record it and ban those guys. Despite the implementation of the Manor Score system, it has been observed that some users persist in engaging in unfair practices, particularly intentional team killing, which currently constitutes a significant portion of the in-game reports in New State. I did not know that. Consequently, we have decided to escalate the level of sanctions for certain offenses, effective from October 25th, to prevent repeated occurrences of intentionally team killing and similar actions, so they will get heavier bans, longer bans. We are aware that some players have expressed concerns about this policy update and we would like to clarify to avoid any misunderstandings. As previously mentioned, with this revision, the maximum penalty for deliberate team killing and abnormal team formations, teaming and solo mode, has been increased from a 30-day suspension to a permanent ban. However, this change applies only to users who continuously engage in unfair practices and not to, use, uh, not to those who team kill due to simple mistake or error. We hope you take action and there is the full rules of conduct listed. In addition to the information already provided, we understand that you may have many other questions, particularly regarding cheaters. We are keen to address your concerns one by one. However, disclosing detailed information about these matters poses a risk, as it might be used by the developers of such programs or by those who use them to modify or update the software. With this consideration, we had to limit some details in this anti-cheat announcement and we ask for your understanding as it is a constant battle of fine solutions to these problems. Unfair play undermines the value of fair competition and preventing it is not just about solving a problem but about upholding the core values of New State. We are dedicated to continuously improving our response to unfair play, firmly upholding a zero tolerance stance. That is nice. And they given, in my opinion, they have given already more information which help cheat developers already. And I was, was exactly with this with this picture that helps, especially naming those things. But I guess they were so obvious and obvious things which are easy to ban that it is alright. So what are your thoughts on it? Please write it down below in the comment section. And please, if you have any further questions, write it down as well. I hope I could answer you some parts, some questions you got during reading it. And um, yeah, if there's someone else, uh, something else, just write it down. Ask me, I will try to respond. So, will we now see some less hackers? Definitely. Will we see zero hackers? No. That never will happen of, to any game. As I said, the developers are running behind the cheat developers. So they are taking a little bit longer, the new cheat is developed. So there will be vulnerabilities in every software and those guys will use them or abuse them to implement new hacks. So that will never happen. But with these measurements and these reports, I'm looking really forward. And that strengthens my feeling that overall from the two years of playing this game, 
There are not too many hackers. I said Counter-Strike, it is so much heavier. And they have never given such a detailed report. They are trying also their best, but it is kind of hard. Alrighty, kind of long video today. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and if you have watched it until now, thank you for the support. Wish you all the best and hopefully we are not running into that many cheaters in the future. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you want to see another video, check out the latest video right there at the bottom. If you want to see more videos of this game, check out the full playlist there at the top. And if you don't want to miss anything about my channel in the future, don't forget to subscribe right here.